Hey, Neil fam. Hope you guys are doing well. Back again with another video. It's your girl, Tia Bella. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are my current subscriber, what y'all say? Okay, as you would have seen from the title of this video, we are going to be focusing on Madame Glam's rubber base gels. I have done a few videos of rubber base gels on my channel. If you have not watched them, definitely go and check them out so you can get a little bit of background on rubber base gels and why I'm obsessed with them. But if not, I will be actually explaining that today. So I have four rubber base gels here from Madame Glam. Why do I love rubber base gels? Because they have simply been the easiest products I have used in terms of trying to make my nails look a little bit sensible. So what I have on my nails right now are some full cover soft gel nails. I've had these on for about over a week now and I was using peel off base and I was just taking the gel nail liner and all the nail art and stuff off of it. So I just peel them off. So that's why you might see a little, a little bit of a leftover product that's not actually blood. It's just leftover gel. Um, so this is the full cover tips that I've been using. These are soak off gel tips, full cover, and these are in the length 2XL, which is what I am obsessed over. I love long nails. And uh, what I love about uh, soak off gel tips, rather than using half tips, because you could also use half tips when you're using rubber base gel, it's just that it's already shaped and it's going to cover my entire nail. I don't do anything extra. And when I'm ready, I could just, you know, soak and pop these off if I wanted to. So that's what I'm using. And uh, what I did to apply them is I apply some primer onto my nail as well as the nail, as well as the full cover nail. And then I went in with the gel glue. Try to stick to the glue that actually comes with the brand. This is by far one of the best glues I've ever used. It is fast curing, it's no bubbles, user friendly. I absolutely love it. If you're interested in uh, Gelfully, honestly, this is a new brand to me. I've been using them now for a couple of months now. Well, maybe two months, maybe absolutely love them like um i love love this brand so yeah that's the tips and that's uh the gel glue all right now let's get back to the uh, rubber base gels here that i have from madam glam uh we're going to be using this new one here called lyos now i have done a previous video where i unboxed and i kind of showed you the swatch i actually have this on my thumb right now and i filed it up and my gosh from a distance tell me that does not look like acrylic I mean, obviously, if you're a nail tech, maybe you'll be like, girl, you know, acrylic girl. But from the from a distance, from your naked eye, boom, look just like acrylic. So what you are going to need to get started, once you have your full cover nail tips on, what you're, need, what you're going to need to get started is definitely you're going to need some primer. So I usually apply, I already buffed the nails actually, but I still go in with a layer of primer over all of my nails. So you're definitely going to need your own primer. You're going to need your rubber base gel of choice. You do not need base gel. As you would have seen from the name, it is a rubber base gel. So it actually is a two-in-one function. It functions as a base gel. It also functions as a colored gel onto your nail. So you could actually leave them nude if you want by themselves, or you can go in with your gel nail, um, nail art and just uh, finish it off with some top coat. So whatever rubber base gel that you're using, Madame Glam currently has four colors that I think I'm aware of. They have a clear, they have a brown nude, they have a pink, and they also have like a milky white. Now, Madame Glam, they usually are between 10 to, I wanna say the highest price on the website. They're 10, around $10 if you have a 50% off VIP membership, which costs $29 a month. If you don't, the retail price of these can range anywhere from $19.99 or I think $19.95, all the way up to around the 20 something, the mid 20s in dollars. So it pays to actually have uh, the 50% uh, VIP membership to get the discount. Uh, I have seen comparable products on the market from other brands and their pricing is higher than Madame Glam's uh, without any discount. So I've seen, I've seen for $14.99, I've seen $15, $16, $17.99 $17 from some other brands who sell rubber base shells and they are HEMA free. And they are cruelty free. These are vegan as well. So the comparable brands that are also vegan and cruelty free are around this are, are a little bit higher without a discount. So in terms of what's available on the market, I don't know why I'm trying to sell you this, but I, I just really I genuinely love rubber base gels. Um, definitely recommend Madame Glam. Now, if 10 to 12, 15 dollars is outside of your price range, I do have a recommendation for a cheaper rubber base gels but these are not hema free 
I currently have all eight of the rubber base shells from Born Pretty, and I have done a video on my channel with these rubber base shells. These are also 15 mil, just like Madame Glam. Nice packaging. Uh, the colors are also nice as well. Uh, these colors are actually different from the ones from Madame Glam. I'm not quite sure if these two are similar. No, they're actually different. Um, so they do have more colors in terms of the, you know, how many rubber base gels Born Pretty has. So these are around the $7 um, price range. So you do get a little bit less, but like I said, um, they are not HEMA free. So, and I know Born Pretty is also vegan and cruelty free and they are, I think seven or eight free in terms of toxins. So they, are, they do have less toxins than some brands that don't actually remove toxins. Whereas Madame Glam is 21, uh, Born Pretty is between eight and 10 for some of their products, I believe, if I remember correctly. Again, this information is available on their website. So if 10, like I said, if 10, 12 is too much for you, here's that seven, eight range. Okay. Now in terms of other uh, rubber base shells, we're going to get into the nails. Just giving you a little backstory. You can skip this part if this is not informative or helpful to you. In terms of other rubber base shells that I have, uh, Gelfully also has their own rubber base shells as well. The same brand of nails and uh, nail glues that I have on. Let me just quickly grab it. Okay, so here is the next set of rubber base shells that I am currently obsessing over. And uh, my favorite of these is definitely this recent new one here that I have from Milano. So we do have a brown. We do have a little pink in the middle, and then we kind of have a nice little skin flush mix between the two. So this is another, um, I was trying to pull something off of it. Sorry just now if that sounded really inappropriate. So, but these are, I would say these are on, uh, these are more expensive than Madame Glam without the discount. Now with the, without the 50% VIP, Madame Glam is the most expensive of the three, but with the 50%, the Madame Glam brings it down to the middle. And uh, these ones are, I believe they retail for around between 15 to $18, I believe, per bottle. These are also HEMA free, they are also cruelty free, these are also vegan as well. And they are premium rubber bases. They are absolutely stunning and beautiful. I absolutely love them. And they're also 15 mil as well. So these are all of the options in terms of what I have in terms of rubber base gels. I have a few brands that I'm going to be purchasing from throughout the year that I want to try out in terms of their rubber base gels. And I will definitely be reviewing those on my channel. So there you go, guys. In terms of the rubber base gels that I have, Madame Glam, Gelfully, as well as Born Pretty. And this is the order in terms of affordability, in terms of pricing. Okay. So now let's get into the uh how to apply the rubber base gel to your nails to make them look like acrylic nails all right what you're going to need i'm going to be using this one lyos and don't forget i do have discount codes for all of these i have a discount code for metal glam i have a discount code for born pretty and i have a discount code for gelfully they will be linked down in my description box if you are interested you're going to need your rubber base gel. You're going to need your primer to apply the nails. And uh, you are also going to need a liner brush. And the when you're applying your rubber base gel, as I will show you momentarily, you aren't going to go all the way towards the ends because then you will flood your cuticles. So you're going to need a liner brush and you're going to fill in the sides of your nail as well as that cuticle area, as well as the free edge using a liner brush. So you're definitely going to need a good quality liner brush. Madame Glam has good quality liner brushes. Gelfully also has good quality premium liner brushes. They are absolutely stunning. I absolutely love them. This is the, the longest one that I have here. All right. In terms of liner brushes so definitely recommend one pretty also has liner brushes as well and uh lastly after you're done with your nails you're going to need some sort some sort of wipe no um top coat no wipe top coat so i have the regular no wipe top gel here or you can go in with the madame glam's velvet top coat here as well gelfully has a um 
a diamond diamond top coat or no wipe top coat or super base top coat or something like that they have one i haven't gotten it yet i will be getting it very soon in one of my next orders from them all right enough talking guys now we are now you know everything that you need to know about rubber base gels and uh now we're gonna get started now if you've never heard of rubber base gel before before we get started sorry if your nails are bendable like here they're flexible if your natural nails are weak if they're damaged if they are thin you should not be putting on any other product than rubber base gel because you need that flexibility to go with your flexible nail if your nails are strong and healthy you can use build a gel build a gel is a good product to use you may be saying to yourself isn't rubber base gel the same as build a gel no it is not i have a build a gel here from madam glam it's gonna be a long video guys so i'm going to quickly show you the difference between the two products before we get started it is not the same they are very much different. Rubber base gel is definitely much more fluid. So here we are. You can definitely see how sticky the build gel is. You can definitely see how thick it is. It's not moving, whereas I still have that flexibility with the rubber base gel. Okay? So you can see that the rubber base gel is slowly looking like it's about to drop. Whereas with the Builder Gel, it's like a really thick, strong glue. It's meant to help strengthen the nail as well, but that would be more for nails that are already in good condition. If your nails are nice and strong and thick and healthy, that is what Builder Gel is for, to add strength to already strong nails that just need extra strength. But if your nails are really weak, you can't put a rock on top of a piece of paper. You need something a little bit more flexible to go on top of that paper. This is where rubber base gel comes in. And the fact that uh, you can still create an apex and everything with rubber base gel. That's why I really love them. So by now, you should be tired of me saying rubber base gel. Because I've said rubber base gel a thousand times in this video. Now we're going to get started on applying the nails. Now I create content. I do reviews and stuff. So I want to be able to actually take this rubber base back off if I need to. Because sometimes I like to do clear nails. You know, like marble designs or encapsulation or whatever so i'm just going in with a very thin layer well not thin 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 but a good layer of my peel off base coat onto my nails before i go in with that rubber base gel and this just allows me to be able to change my nail design if i want to okay so that peel off base has uh dried so now we're going to go in with our slip layer and then we're going to go in with the bigger layer so how you apply rubber base gel and i've done videos on this before so apologies if you've already watched that video and uh it's duplicated for you but in case you haven't um we're gonna go into detail you're gonna with a very very thin layer all over the entire nail again this is your slip layer so you this, this does not need to be thick at all and it does not need to be perfect your aim is to try to cover as much as the nail as possible it'd be very slow and gentle you don't want to try to cover, uh, flood the cuticles, but thankfully, because this layer is very thin, you won't necessarily do that. And uh, we're just going to push Madame Glam's beautiful brush up towards that cuticle area, and we're just going to drag everything down. And this is one of the reasons that I really, really love full cover nails. Because you don't have to do a lot of building, because these nail tips already have somewhat of an apex. All we're doing is just adding just a little extra. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Now we're gonna go in with a bl bigger blob. Try not to wipe it off because you need that big blob. Once you have your big blob, kind of like gravity, you kind of push that towards the tip of the nail. And now we're just gonna add that on top of the nail, right where we want that apex to be built. And this is how you're going to create your apex. Your apex, so you're just gonna put that in a big blob, and then you're gonna, from side to side, kind of push it very gently up towards that cuticle area. And then from side to side, we're just gonna drag it on down. Do not worry about the side walls right now. That's why we have the line out brush. We're gonna come back to that. All we wanna do is try to get the product to stay to the center of the nail. Okay. And we're just going to keep dragging that down. 
don't swipe it down because that's when you're going to run into problems with the uh, patchy uh, application. You want that color to stay consistent. So keep swiping it down. And if you need more product, dip back into your, uh, your bottle and uh, keep going down. If you have any spillage to the cuticle or to the sidewalls, you can just take a brush and you're going to clean that up with a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol. But again, we're just trying to get as much as this product off of the brush onto the nail, going straight down without breaking the, um, the cycle, you know? Keep going. Keep going. What I love about rubber base shell, this is not moving. It's not going into the cuticles. It's not moving. It's staying where I want it. I mean... Don't take too long, it will move. But uh, in terms of like hard gel, like hard gel is moved, that has to be all over the place. Boom, so we have that on, look at that, side profile. I'm satisfied with that. Now I'm not gonna build this up a lot because I'm going in with gel polish and stuff over it and the gel polish and top coat and stuff is gonna add another layer. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm just gonna drag down on the sides. just a little bit and that cuticle area this is where we're going to go in with uh, the brush and we're just going to fill in okay so we'll take a little bit of product from uh, there and we're just gonna see we're just gonna take that brush and that's going to help you not flood your cuticles all right take a little bit and once more and uh, we're going to go on the next side. I have a lot of space over here. So I need to be very careful. And just pull it on down. And it's very self-leveling as well, to some degree. Once you put that down and you fix it properly, it's going to fix itself. Now, notice we have a little bit of cricket nest at the top here. So we're just going to straighten it up just a little bit. Again, well, this is only for perfectionists, like... You just want it to be nice and clean and, per and perfect. That is stunning. And look at your nail. Take your time. This is not a race to see how fast you could do it. You're, you, the purpose of these tutorials that I'm doing now is so that I could get better at it. You know? So I see that there is a little bit of patchiness right here. I'm just going to take my brush and uh, kind of distribute some of that extra product and bring it on down. A little bit of patch there. I'm just gonna take some of that, bring it on down. Not too much. I want my apex to stay where I have it. I'm satisfied with that. Again, I'm not, I don't want a too huge of an apex, but if you wanted this huge, you would go in, you would actually go in with another blob and do the exact same thing. And keep building it up the way you want to, but I'm perfectly satisfied with that. All right, and now I'm going to give it a cure. All right, here's how the nail is looking. Stunning. Like, you could leave it here. Wipe off that inhibition layer. Put on some super top coat and file it up around the edges and you're done. It would look just like that once it's been filed and buff. So I'm going to actually do the exact same thing to the other three nails off camera because I'm doing the exact same thing. And then I'm gonna show you how I shape it up and buff it up to make it look a little bit more like acrylic. So I'll be right back once I'm done applying. And don't forget that once you have your rubber base gel onto your nail, you just wanna hold it upside down, you know, like 15, 20 seconds, just to make sure that gravity actually pulls that rubber base gel towards the center of the nail. All right, so here's how the nails are looking once, uh, this is just application only. I've just put on the product. I've not done any filing. I've not done any shaping. Look at that. I mean, that that apex is perfect. Like, I mean, I already had an apex, but now it's just absolutely beautiful. Looks like I just did an acrylic set and I put some top coat on and that's it. Now, I just want to quickly point out, when I used the 80-80 grid file, I noticed that I filed along the sides of this nail and actually removed some of the products. So I think the 80-80 file is a little bit too strong. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill this back in 
and we're gonna go in with either 100 or 180 file the side just to make it look a little bit crispy i mean from the top it looks nice and crispy but from the side i just want to be a little bit careful so i'm just gonna fill it in very quickly i thought i'd just point that out that mistake out just in case you because i know i said 80 80 earlier or in another video so i just wanted to correct myself and let you know that might be a little bit too strong I am obsessed with how beautiful and acrylic-like looking these nails are. Jump on the rubber base gel bandwagon, guys. Okay, so this is the beauty of uh, rubber base gel. If you make a mistake, you can go back in and you can fix that. See, I've just applied a fresh coat onto my nail. Just trying to clean up the sides here. We're gonna file that anyway. And uh, now I'm just gonna give this a cure, just like new. Now I have this curing under the UV lamp. Now I am just doing one hand and I can't be sure how much this 50 ml bottle will last, like how many sets you can get out of it. I assume you might be able to get like five full sets out of this. So that's like a bottle of this is like, you know, 10 euros or 10 US dollars or 12 US dollars. I'm not hundred percent sure with the currency exchanges. And you should be able to get you know, at least four or five sets out of this. That's not bad. Now I know monomer is expensive and I, I purchased one ball of monomer off of Amazon, a little small hundred mil for at least 10 something, 10 to $12. Um, dollars. And I will run through that. I will run through that in like two sets. Never mind the cost of the actual acrylic powder. So when you cost the acrylic powder, you know, $15 for a one ounce or two ounce and then acrylic uh, the monomer another 10 to 15 that's like 30 dollars before you get started never you need a good brush um what else you need you know, that's basically it so that's it's not bad in terms of if you were thinking pricing wise what you could what is your return on investment this is a little bit of accounting for you guys you know guys know i'm studying accounting in terms of a return on, on investment and you for this set right here i would charge i don't know like 35 maybe 40 just for this gel x set right here excluding any nail art so your first set you should be able to get a return on investment i'm not i'm not knocking acrylic i'm specifically speaking to those of us that struggle with acrylic that struggle with the monomer so there is a sticky tacky layer on this so what we're going to do is we're going to get an isopropyl alcohol wipe and we're just gonna wipe that on down be careful you see a little inhibition layer sometimes it's be sneaking the little uh, lint-free wipes and uh, voila. Okay, so here's how the nails are looking once I've wiped that uh, inhibition layer, that sticky tacky layer down off of it. Not too shabby looking, but I want them to be a little bit more on the crispy side. So I am going to, where's, I'm gonna find my 180 file. Where did I put it? Once I, here it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take my 180 file and we're just going to go very gently around the edges. We're not gonna be too wild here because we already learned from our first mistake. And we're just going to very gently, just, you know, crispy that side up so it looks like it's acrylic nails and not so much gel nails. And I'm going to make sure I look at the side to make sure that I'm not move, removing anything in and already you can see the difference. So we're just gonna go very gently again. Just shaping it up. We're not applying too much pressure. And we're gonna just go around the bottom just like that. And voila! Not too bad looking. I'm satisfied with that. Once I'm done, I don't want it to be too shiny. So I'm gonna go on the 180 side of my little buffer here. I'm just gonna remove that shine because I'm gonna go in with a little bit of uh, gel polish. And I feel like it is just a little bit too shiny for me. And I don't want the gel polish to be slipping and sliding all over the paste and being a little bit too um, patchy, which I mean, Madam Glam gel polish isn't patchy at all. And we're just gonna remove that shine. And again, light, lightly buff. Okay. Look at that, fresh set of acrylics.
I'm just gonna take my file and just go around the edges just to make it look a little bit more cleaner. Uh, I have it on five, my, my Melody Susie Joe. All right, I'm done uh, filing to as much as I want. I don't want too much on the nail because I know I'm going in with the gel polish, but if you want it to be more opaque, you can definitely go in with another um, layer of the build of the rubber base gel like how i did on the thumb this one is definitely more opaque than the other ones you can kind of see like little spaces but again i am uh i don't want the nails to be too bulky because i know that i'm going in with gel polish so voila definitely uh practice makes perfect for this nail set i'm taking inspiration from this beautiful photo uh photo that i saw on instagram from uh, d slay nails I, I saw this and I immediately started following her. I just absolutely love it. So we're going to try to uh, get uh, get this design like this. I love it. Um, I'm going to be using the gel liners from Beatles. So I have a, quite a combination of colors here. I'm just gonna take the white and the red. I just did a video on these as well, if you're interested. Um, I think I got these from the Beatles UK website. It might also be on the Beatles US website or it also could be on Amazon. I remember a subscriber saying that she found them on Amazon cheaper. So wherever you can find them, definitely find them. Okay, so this isn't necessarily a nail art video, but uh, for these, it looks like a bunch of swirly lines. So I am just going to just grab random colors and uh, we're going to do swirly lines. So we're going to start from the side here. Try to make sure there's no fuzz on the nails. It's so annoying um, when the fuzz just keep coming there. So we're going to go up the nail and uh, make a nice little curve here. I think I've said this before, it's very difficult um, doing line work on camera. And uh, we're going to bring it on down the nail. Right over there. And we're going to do this multiple times with different gel polishes. I will not be doing this on camera. So I just want to kind of show you. All right. All right. We get one finger down, four more to go. All right. Sorry, but these gel liners from Beatles. Oh my God. I am obsessed with them. Beatles. Oh my goodness. They are just perfect. They are perfect. All right, guys. Here, here is the nails an hour later after all of that line work. Um, I love the French's. I think I'm going to do some French nails with some different color outlines. Um, so the inspo photo looks like it's matte. I'm just going to go in with Madame Glam's matte velvet uh, matte top coat. And I might just go in with some butterflies just to add a little bit of bling and flowers maybe. I don't know. But we'll see. Okay, nail fam. Here's a final look at this nail set. I decided to add just a little bit of a butterfly and some flowers. Just I wanted a little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle because this nail set is matte. I hardly ever do matte designed so i just wanted to add something sparkly to the nail set so hope you guys enjoyed this really thorough fully explained uh, tutorial on how you could do your nails and uh kind of make them look a little bit like acrylic nails and um yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one